a good day, Daphne Caruana Galithia's blog, Running Commentary, reached as many as 400,000 readers on an island of less than half a million people. She was tenacious in investigating what she called the cronyism that is accepted as something normal, and she wasn't afraid to name names. She took aim at Prime Minister Joseph Muscat and his wife, accusing her of owning a Panama-based company called eGrant that was allegedly receiving illicit payments from the rulers of Azerbaijan. And amid the allegations, Muscat called and won an early election by a landslide. The following year, an inquiry cleared him and his wife of being involved with the company. <laughs> She also wrote about the PM's chief of staff, Keith Schembri, and the energy minister, Conrad Mizzi. Galithia discovered that both held secret offshore companies and described them frequently as crooks and blackmailers. And she was on the trail of a mysterious offshore company with links to Malta, 17 Black. Since her death, journalists working on the Daphne project have discovered that 17 Black was owned by Jorgen Fennec, the prominent Maltese businessman who is now being charged with complicity in her murder. Fennec was also co-owner of a company that won a government contract to build a gas power plant. The contract was worth over half a billion dollars. Now, circling back to those two ministers, Schembri and Mizzi, well, they were in government when Fennec was awarded the contract. And the Daphne project discovered that their offshore companies were set to receive around two million a year from 17 Black for services unspecified. Schembri and Mizzi have denied any wrongdoing, but the allegations are now being looked into by a judicial inquiry.